Hello guys, welcome to CBC Television Zambia and we're here to bring you another episode of Tikambe TV show. I'm your host Twilando and I'm with you are with Elizabeth Kayope. And on today's topic, sorry, on today's segment, we'll bring you um the real and um training gist which is an actress and we are going to have someone who's going to talk uh, talk with us about uh, education yeah so we're going to talk about how best can we celebrate youth day so on this topic we've got guests we have an actor again is he, uh, he's going to tell, uh, tell us about how best we can celebrate uh, our youth day as a youth and how to be responsible you as a youth exactly so all we're asking from you guys stay tuned don't go anywhere stay glued and also there's a number below there you can send your messages and please note that no cause no cause allowed on this show it's a live show so we don't allow cause all you can do is send us a message either on whatsapp or a direct message read it out loud here on the tv stay tuned stay blessed in the any it's such a free upgrade now 14 and 40 on entertainment this too could be yours that's right it's your free upgrade pay for access and get upgraded to family oh. pay for family and get upgraded to compact you know what i mean pay for compact and get upgraded to compact plus and when you pay for compact plus the best is yours with premium it's gonna be a split it's your free upgrade now 14 and 40 only with dstv and catch the first three races of the 2023 Formula One season on Compact Plus. Dad, a lot has been said about me. I've been demonized, I've been ridiculed and called names by people who have no idea what kind of a person I am. But now, the time has come for me to prove what a powerhouse I am. I want to prove that I'm human too, that I have feelings, and I have people who care for me just as I care for them. It's time for me to bear it all. Metallic Monza and Scripted, coming soon. I always knew that I was adopted. Come on. Uh, <laughs> excuse, us eight, huh? excuse us. Do you want to keep the good times rolling? Then pay and get bumped up to a higher package. Nimbasela Nafuti Bago TV. Because when you pay your subscription, you get bumped up to the next higher package for free. To get more than enough of only the best entertainment on TV. Nimbasela Nafuti. Visit GoTVAfrica.com for more information and stay connected to get bumped up for free on GoTV. We got you. Go TV. Love it. Primetime shows are taking over this March. The gloves are off as Anna fights for her life, love and family. 
Old enemies and new problems await an unsuspecting Zuwa. Murder, deceit and dry wounds may destroy the house of Nguzu. Shimumbi returns to Zambezi magic to brighten your nights. Join serious singles as they confront their crush with high hopes. And the quest for love continues on the most eventful first date. Spend your nights with beautiful stories on Zambezi Magic. DSTV Channel 162, Go TV Super Channel 5. When I think of how I want a man to love me, make me feel, protect and honor me, you are all I see. Do you think all his money is purely the result of his hard work? The thing about riches, it hides very dark secrets. So this marriage and everything that happens in it is between the two of us. These women are gorgeous, glamorous and daring. We bring the good energy. They don't follow the rules, they make them. And that's a period. Dots on cat's luck. Brace yourselves for a premium show of girl power, friendship, betrayal, and drama. Oh my goodness. Like the dog you are. Yes, yes, yes. Get ready for the real housewives of Abuja coming soon, only on Showmax. We're up in the ante. It's such a free upgrade. Now 14 and 40 on entertainment. This too could be yours. That's right. It's your free upgrade. Pay for access and get upgraded to family. Oh. Pay for family and get upgraded to compact. You know what I mean. Pay for compact and get upgraded to compact plus. Absolute ripper. And when you pay for compact plus, the best is yours with premium. It's going to be lit. It's your free upgrade. Now 14 or 14. Only with DSTV. and catch the first three races of the 2023 Formula One season on Compact Plus. And I am here with Tashiri Koma, also known as Wupe from Bali. <laughs> Looking so adorable. Hi. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I am good. Great. I'm so happy having you here. You just thank don't you. know. <laughs> Thank you so you know, much. like seeing someone on TV and then you'd be like, I just wish to see this person. I just wish to meet this person. Well, and finally, yeah, I'm here. here I am, yeah. Oh my God, guys, I feel so, like, <laughs> I can't breathe. Yo, I can't breathe. So, um, Wupe, or rather, Tishé, which one should I use? Or any. I'm any. Used, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Um, so, you're an actress. You're into acting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, what inspired you to start acting, like, who inspired you, or rather, should I say that? Um, well, I guess I just inspired myself. Oh, okay, okay I, I was just in love with the camera since mm -hmm. I was just a little kid. Okay. I've just always been fond of the camera. Mm -hmm. I love arts. I love mm -hmm. entertainment. I've always been an entertainer since I was young. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically everyone knew that one day I would be involved in this industry. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, your family is in support of what you're doing, yes. and they're very happy. <laughs> Since they one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guys. Um, so, um, people out there, they know you as Whoopi okay. from Bali, Lindiwe's daughter. daughter. So, like, what have you experienced um, being someone's daughter, being a princess, a stubborn <laughs> child for that matter? And so, what have you experienced in acting? Like... What are some of the advantages and disadvantages in acting? Well, the disadvantages are, I think she does not think disadvantages or advantages. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll start with the disadvantages. Uh, the disadvantages are like, people expect you to be at your level best whenever mm -hmm. you meet them. Mm -hmm. They expect you, mean you to be fans? perfect. The people yeah. you meet out there. Yeah. Okay. They expect you to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And some actually think um that's rude girl, even mm -hmm. in person. <laughs> yes. So like whenever I get approached, they'll be like, you know what? There'll be that fear. They don't mm -hmm. really open up. There'll be that fear thinking maybe I'll be rude or maybe something like that. Um what else? 
Mm-hmm. Well, the they advantages? do satisfy advantages. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I'll, I move to the advantages. Mm-hmm. Well, the advantage is that you get to mingle with a lot of people. Yeah. You get the opportunity to meet different people. You know, art is fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I get to learn every day. Mm-hmm. And the fact that I get to portray someone's lifestyle. I don't mm-hmm. know if Wooper exists, but <laughs> it's just something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just portray someone's life. And it's actually a good feeling because, you know, I get to be someone I'm not. Mm-hmm. So it's more like an adventure for a day. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, there are those people out there, they be like, Mm, how did she become a celebrity? Like, how did she become? How how is she on TV? Like, what are the qualifications? If you don't mind telling us, oh, sorry. Uh, the qualifications. Well, just keep auditioning. Whenever you see an opportunity, don't be afraid to go for it. Audition, interact with people. Make sure you're connected to the right people. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes, you know, people like using people. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. They think you're desperate, you mm-hmm. want the firm, you want, you know, to be known. So they'll begin to use you. So mm-hmm. it's just a matter of being connected with the right people. Okay. Yeah. And doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Exactly. Following so, your um, passion. <laughs> I've seen this sash. So okay. apart from acting, is there any other things yeah. that you do? <laughs> I'm okay, a model. So you can, you're a model. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I don't understand why you're a model. So can you please elaborate, like, tell us more about model. Is it all about modeling? Because no. me, when I just hear the word model, what comes into my mind is modeling. That's modeling. Cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, so, um, mod- modeling is all about, it's, it involves heart as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We elaborate arts mm-hmm. in terms of fashion, mm-hmm. beauty, mm-hmm. just the social life, mm-hmm. nature, everything. Oh. So yeah, we, we also it's also about addressing people the way of living. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how people should live. Actually, people think modeling is all about beauty. Mm-hmm. It also involves brains. Oh, yeah, see. like how you associate with people, how you carry yourself, mm-hmm. how you think about certain things, what really in, is involved about a certain opinion, stuff like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah, okay, so friends as well. <laughs> back to Mpali. Okay. I really want to know more about this. So, um, the whoopee, we're talking about whooping now. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like, how do you? manage to be like uh, to act like someone else <laughs> like it's not true so you try to act like a stubborn child and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. so like how do you manage how do you handle it like do you get nervous when acting or you just be like nah i am kind of stubborn so i can just do this <laughs> or you just have to be strong like you just well be strong. at first i used to be nervous like mm-hmm. The first time that I was shooting, mm-hmm. first time to be on in Bali set, mm-hmm. you know, I was nervous. Mm-hmm. I don't know if, I didn't know if they would like what I would do, my performance. But yeah, I think I know it. Mm-hmm. And I know it definitely. The good part is, I don't know when you are, when it's your first time mm-hmm. and you just head there on set on I'm camera for bra. the first time. Ah. You just see everyone like, uh-huh. everyone on you. But as soon as you start speaking out your lines, mm-hmm. the fear goes. Oh, so it's like just this. Because it's just like, just a second thing. Like, you just, just mm-hmm. a second. Like, it just goes and then you just feel like you got So it. it's like everyone there is watching you now. Like, yeah, there are a lot of people. It's yeah. not just you and the cameras. It's like a lot. A lot of, trust oh me. Oh, <laughs> a ah, lot strong, yeah? behind the crew. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, you've got a brother there, Kondwani. So is he your little <laughs> brother or so people get confused there because I follow there's a busy magic page. Yeah. So people keep asking, is Vupe and Kondwani like related, like blood brothers, no. brother and sister or <laughs> Look like, like, you just that's why like yeah. Okay. Actually we are not related, but yeah, he's my brother. <laughs> and being Lindiwe's child and you know how Lindiwe is. We're talking about Lindiwe here, we're not talking about Mali Five and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So like so yeah, like being Lindiwe's child, how do you handle it? How is it? What's your experience? Well, mm, I love the woman. Mm-hmm. I love Lindsay Wei. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a great woman. Very, despite off camera, mm-hmm. just she's a very she good woman. Yeah. So we actually have that relationship. Actually, a lot of people think she's my mother. Like I, I get that a lot of That's questions. I like I get it a lot. <laughs> um, 
because our relationship is kind of strong, mm-hmm. even off camera. Okay, so yeah, it's like you like knew her before no, meeting her. No, I knew her from Mumpali. Oh, okay. Like, just like we bonded from the first time we met. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were just born. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the experience is actually good because, you know, my mom, mm-hmm. she's, she has poured us, but she doesn't toilet nonsense. As uh-huh. you've seen, so she just, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, she is. She does. When you start going off track, you'll be uh-huh. like, No, no, stop <laughs> that. <laughs> you could yeah. not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, so yeah, it's a good thing. So, yeah, like, she's... imagine being given um, Tombi as your mother. Do you think Oof. the experience can no, be like this? No, 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 <laughs> that can't wake me. Fish, Tombi is. <laughs> is she like. Okay, so we're not going to talk about Tombi here. It's just okay. you. It's, we're just going to talk about Wupe here. Okay. So, like, can you... What advice can you give out to the youths out there? You tell them about life. How they, how best can they celebrate Youth Day as we, like, go off this um, station? Um, what should they know? And... what? Okay, in short, what can you tell them about you? Not Wupe, but as Tasheri. Okay. Yes. Well, I would say celebrate your youth wisely, first of all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, follow your dreams. Don't give up. Be passionate about what you love. Don't let anyone intimidate you mm-hmm. or make you feel low. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Dreams do come true, trust me. <laughs> yeah, trust in yourself. Yeah, just trust the process. Believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Keep going. And more you focus. Got this. Yeah, focus. Focus exactly. on what you want, on your dreams. Yeah, but dreams don't work themselves though. You got to like work up. Have to work hard. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Work hard. Yeah, so okay. Um, can you drop your social media handles where people can find you? You have a page where people can follow you. If that's yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. Um, my Facebook page is Wupen Pali, Instagram Wupen Pali, TikTok Wupen Pali. Yeah. So anyone can so. follow you. Yeah, yeah. Not like, Jeez, you know, I don't want this one to follow me. Yeah, yeah no, anyone can follow me. So you can follow her, Whoop and Pali, on every social media platform. So from me and Whoop and Pali, it's a bye bye. <laughs> Catch you on the next side.
Mission and I am your host as usual, Linganji. And we're here with an, an exciting topic on fashion. And I am not alone, I am with Mabel Banda. Okay, Mabel is not a guest, but she is also a presenter. I don't know why she's feeling shy. Mabel, just listen up, please. So, Mabel, what do you think about fashion? Fashion, fashion is a latest style. Okay. Decoration, All right. design, hairstyle. Okay. So maybe when you say latest style, what if I've got an old closet, I put something on, I look nice. Is that fashion? Yeah, it's fashion. Okay. So Mabel, um, even at home, like in our Zambian culture, we've got how we dress. Like we're not supposed to wear mini skates as usual. We're supposed to put on vitenges and... So do you think as a teen or as a youth rather, does that hinder you from looking nice and being confident? No. Okay. Yes, because we follow what um, our parents want. So like, uh, we have to wear each thing as usual. Okay. Yes. So you're saying it doesn't hinder our fashion portrayment to the people? Oh, but uh, a lot of people have different choices. Yeah, yeah what they wear mm -hmm. so others yeah if they are comfortable with what they are putting on mm -hmm. they are free to wear what they want okay so we all know that on monday it's youth day and people have got this no me i'm wearing this I'm wearing this some have got open clothes some are closed clothes some are closed clothes rather so uh what i've what ad advice can you give to youths out there who, who've got like open clothes no they're they're planning on wearing this on youth day yeah okay on that the advice i can give if they are comfortable with what they are wearing yeah yeah they can put on but not a very very short thing okay. that is showing everything all right yes okay and to the guys to the guys because mm -hmm. fashion comes either way both sides right yes yeah so what advice can you give to the guys uh, to the guys mm -hmm. well, most of them they're all dressed yeah most but not all yes not all okay so you guys i'm here with mabel and she's elaborated something there clearly to you guys enjoy yeah enjoy your youth but also keep in mind of what you're going to be wearing on monday as you celebrate your youth day so it has been me and mabel on the youth segment have a blast see us on the next segment we're up in the annie it's such a free upgrade now 14 and 40 on entertainment this too could be yours. That's right. It's your free upgrade. Pay for access and get upgraded to family. Oh. Pay for family and get upgraded to compact. You know what I mean. Pay for compact and get upgraded to compact plus. Absolute ripper. And when you pay for compact plus, the best is yours with premium. It's going to be lit. It's your free upgrade. Now 40 now 40. Only with DSTV. and catch the first three races of the 2023 Formula One season on Compact Plus. Dad, a lot has been said about me. I've been demonized, I've been ridiculed and called names by people who have no idea what kind of a person I am. But now, the time has come for me to prove what a powerhouse I am. I want to prove that I'm human too, that I have feelings, and I have people who care for me just as I care for them. It's time for me to bear it all. Metallic Mwanza and Scripted, coming soon. I always knew that I was adopted. Hamama. Uh, <laughs> Why excuse, us eight, for now. Huh? excuse us.
Do you want to keep the good times rolling? Then pay and get bumped up to a higher package. Nimbasela Nafuti Pago TV. Because when you pay your subscription, you get bumped up to the next higher package for free. To get more than enough of only the and you are still on Tikambe. My name is Elizabeth Kayupe. I'm, I'm your presenter and in the studio today with me, I have the guest by the name of Mr. Muyonda Devi and Leon Jenny Fortunato. As we'll be talking to you about education. Jenny, uh, you being a student, by the way, you are welcome and you are looking beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. You, you being a student studying medicine, how do you divide your time st uh, being a student and uh, being a script writer? Um, I think it comes with passion. Okay. I'm passionate for both things. So that always helps me to divide my time. When I need to study, I will certainly do so. I will make sure that I divide my time properly for both things because I love both of them. All right. And uh, how can you how can a child be determined when it comes to school because there are some children when it comes to school we need to push them for them to go to school so what can you tell us about that well, first of all uh, uh, as parents we need to ensure that we educate our children that they live better in life okay. i want to mention that uh, i'm one of those children that came from um, one of the least considered compounds okay. that is mrs okay. <laughs> but because i had passion for school I am here where I am because I was determined okay. to be educated. Right. So for for the young ones, they must be determined so that they get the education they, they need. For her to be able to write, to be able to do what she's doing, it's because she's educated. Mm. Yeah. So education is the key. People just need to ensure that they concentrate on their studies. Right. Uh, uh, Jenny, you are a, a voice over personnel. How do you manage to do that and uh, how did you come up with you being a voice over personnel um how did i come up with being a voice over personnel i think it started when i was really young mm -hmm. um my focus when it came to entertainment was on how people presented their voices so other kids would focus on the cartoon and the content i would focus on the voices mm -hmm. how this one is speaking when they're in this certain emotion they speak like this they speak like that so um i started practicing okay. started copying the cartoons um then further on when i grew up i started doing research and that's how i got here all right uh you being a parent there are some parents who are negligent. They'll just, they'll just be there looking at their children moving up and down, what and what. And these days, our, the youth of these days, our youth of these nowadays, they don't have regards for their parents. And uh, there's, a certain, there's a difference from the time you were growing and the time us we are growing. Is it because, um, okay, is it a normal life to live or how, how can you explain it? What's the difference? What have you observed? Uh, the difference is that it is true some um, parents, they don't pay attention to their children. Now, when you don't pay attention to your children, number one, it, will mean, it means other people will pay attention to your children. So if you don't teach them the way they should live, other people will teach them. Okay. Things that you, you don't even expect them to have gotten. So as parents, we need to ensure that we, we get an interest on what our children want to achieve in life. You guide them properly because if you don't guide them, they will end up living a life that is not present uh, to, 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 to a child. So do you think there's anything, um, okay, how have you observed the youth of nowadays? Some are there into drugs, some they're smoking, like no more weed, some they're in beer. So what's your advice to the parents who are out there who have the such kind of children? Okay, number one, like I mentioned, I come from Mrs. And the Mrs. is perceived to be a place where drugs are found, criminals are found. But because my parents paid attention to my needs, they ensured that uh, I went to school. They ensured that I was brought up in a way that uh, I will not depart from those good ways. 
So you can come from a, a compound like Mrs., but you still be like me. Right. So issues to do with drugs. Remember I mentioned that if you, as a parent, you don't have time for your children, somebody else will have time for your children. Right. How, did, how, did those children, how did those children know about the drugs? It means there was somebody who introduced them, who introduced them to those drugs. Right. So as parents, we need to ensure that we educate our children, we teach them the way that we would want them to grow. Mm. Jenny, I saw an advert, you advertising the movie which is about to come out. Can you tell, can you tell us a bit about the movie? Yes, um, so there is a movie coming out um, called The Lost Queen. Mm. And uh, it's a great movie. I think it's one that will go beyond the barricades of Zambia. Mm -hmm. The storyline is quite amazing. Um, shooting will start soon. But um, I think people should be excited to see this movie. It's something different. It's something great. And the actors. You'll be in love, trust me. <laughs> what plans are you? Do you have for the youth? Are, we have people like Twilando who wants to be an actor, an actress. So, do you have the, does she have an opportunity? Of course. I think everybody has an opportunity to become an actor or an actress. It's about passion. I think, um, yeah, the main thing is passion. If you have passion, you can become whatever you want. And it's still open. Any if qualifications? Are, qualifications? No, just love what you do. <laughs> love what you do and research on how to get into character. I think that's what will lead you and guide you All into right. acting. All right. Oh, thank you very much for tuning in and we've come to, our end, to the end of the show. My name is Elizabeth Kayupe. Stay tuned for the main segment. Primetime shows are taking over this March. The gloves are off as Anna fights for her life, love and family. Old enemies and new problems await an unsuspecting Zuwa. Murder, deceit and dry wounds may destroy the house of Nguzu. Shimumbi returns to Zambezi magic to brighten your nights. Join serious singles as they confront their crush with high hopes. And the quest for love continues on the most eventful first date. Spend your nights with beautiful stories on Zambezi Magic. DSTV Channel 162, Go TV Super Channel 5. When I think of how I want a man to love me, make me feel, protect and honor me, you are all I see. Do you think all his money is purely the result of his hard work? The thing about riches, it hides very dark secrets. So this marriage and everything that happens in it is between the two of us. These women are gorgeous, glamorous and daring. We bring the good energy. They don't follow the rules, they make them. And that's a period dots on cat's blood. Brace yourselves for a premium show of girl power, friendship, betrayal, and drama. Oh my goodness. Like the dog you are. Yes, yes, yes. Get ready for the real housewives of Abuja coming soon, only on Showmax. We're up in the ante. It's such a free upgrade. Now 40 now 40 on entertainment. This too could be yours. That's right. It's your free upgrade. Pay for access and get upgraded to family. Oh. Pay for family and get upgraded to compact. You know what I mean. Pay for compact and get upgraded to compact plus. And when you pay for compact plus, the best is yours with premium. It's going to be lit. It's your free upgrade. Now 40 now 40. Only with DSTV. and catch the first three races of the 2023 Formula One season on Compact Plus. Dad, a lot has been said about me. I've been demonized, I've been ridiculed and called names by people who have no idea what kind of a person I am. But now, 
The time has come for me to prove what a powerhouse I am. I want to prove that I'm human too, that I have feelings, and I have people who care for me just as I care for them. It's time for me to bear it all. Metallic Monza and Scripted, coming soon. I always knew that I was adopted. Come on. Uh, Wife excuse number us eight. Huh? Excuse us. You're still tuned in to CBC Television Zambia. I'm still your girl Twilando, and I'm with the amazing ladies and agent, yeah. Mr. Davis. So, um, I'm with the ladies, Linganji, Maple. So, guys, we're here now for the main topic of discussion. So, the question is, how best can the youth celebrate Youth Day, which is on a um, Sunday? Yeah, yes. So, the poll, the question poses to you guys. And to the people here, so over to you, Mr. Davy. Okay. How best can the youths um, celebrate, celebrate Youth Day on Sunday? Yeah. Uh, for me, um, as we celebrate the Youth Day on Sunday, that uh, as youths they need to introspect mm -hmm. what were their goals, what have they achieved, what is it that they want to achieve. Exactly. I think that would be the best way for them to celebrate. If they have not achieved, they need to go back to the drawing board and say, "I did not achieve this," mm -hmm. and that. So they set up new goals again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, f as for me, for what I know is that when the youths hear, that some of them, when they hear that it's youth day, all they think is going out there drinking, celebrating, having fun. Like it's not everybody that's going to um, sit down and think about their life, yeah. make achievements and all that. So what can you advise um, those people who don't know about, who don't understand youth day? Okay, can you just kindly, like, briefly um, do us this define Youth Day? Like, what is Youth Day all about? Uh, is it about celebrating as a youth? You go out, or maybe, um, yeah. I think it's just not about celebrating, going out, drinking beer, and whatever mm -hmm. sort of uh, bad vices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a time that we need to reflect as youths. Remember... Mm -hmm. During the liberation of this country, the youths were very much involved. Mm -hmm. If the youths of those days never paid attention to the things that were happening at that particular time, mm -hmm. they, would, they wouldn't have engaged themselves in fighting for independence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, because they knew what they wanted to achieve, they fought hard. Today, we have this independence. Mm -hmm. So, as youths of today, it is not our time to go and drink beer. It's not our time to go and do all sorts of evil things. Mm -hmm. It's a time that we need to sit and ask ourselves, what have I contributed to the country as an individual? Mm -hmm. We need to, 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 to think of not being employed, but to employ. Exactly. We have a lot of youths that are out there that are not working, they're just waiting for them to be employed, but these mm -hmm. youths have gone to school. So if you are, you, you've, you've done teaching, mm -hmm. why should you wait to be employed as a teacher? You can open, you can open a, a private school. Yeah. You've done, if you've done pharmacist, mm -hmm. pharmacist. You can open, you can open a, a pharmacist instead of you waiting for the government to employ you. Yeah. you know, we need to, the youth need to supplement on whatever, on what the government is doing. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because as we speak right now, the government has provided a very conducive environment for, youth. for business to, to thrive. Yeah, yeah. And we as, and the youth, they need to take up this challenge and say, we'll push. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what, that's what I can say, uh, how the youth should perceive uh, the youth celebration. So, Mr. Davy, you mentioned something like youths of back then. Yes. The, instead of them sitting and being on the negative side, they fought for for the for our independence that we're enjoying today. Yes. So, do you think the youths of back then and the youths now are different? There's a very big difference. Yes. There's a very big difference. This is why today we you hear people talking about junkies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, hear, you hear people talking about fluffies, mm -hmm. whatever names. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we've not paid attention to the values of we as Zambians and as Africans. Mm -hmm. What is it that brings us together? What is it that we need to do to develop our country? Mm -hmm. 
most of the time we have found ourselves, we have found ourselves drinking. I don't boast, but I still mention, I am coming from Mrs. Compound. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can tell you that uh, it's very difficult to stay in Mrs. if you're not focused. Mm -hmm. But because we, um, I, I was one of those youths that were focused to say one day or the other, I should be brought here and be interviewed yeah. and speak for my friend that and misses to say you can still do it. Yeah. If I did it, you would do you it. You can still do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So like so far, what has been your greatest achievement, not only as an adult, but as the way you were even brought out as a youth? Okay. So what has been your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement is that uh, being brought up in that shant compound, I maintained mm -hmm. my determination yeah, of yeah. being educated. Then, um, uh, what else? I think that's the greatest. Where you are coming from, a compound where you people perceive to be an evil forest. <laughs> Not really. But for us, that's where our pride is. Yeah. yeah. In Mrs. they are good people. Mrs. has produced a lot of celebrities. You talk of Red Rinso, you talk of. Uh, this more, this more. You talk of uh, Uncle T lived there. Our producer, our producer, Mr. Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we are coming from that background, mm -hmm. but because we are focused, we are where we are today, because of the decision that we made yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So even as youth, as we celebrate uh, Youth Day tomorrow, mm -hmm. we need to reflect on what we have done mm -hmm. and where we are going. Yeah. So true. That's yeah. true. That's so true. That's so much he's elaborated so much and I and I hope that we've learned something from that. You can so, still send your yeah, messages, yeah. you can participate, tell us what you think, how best we can celebrate Youth Day on a Sunday. It will be yeah. on a Sunday, so I bet go to church some of us. Spend time with your family guys, isn't it? <laughs> In fact, I was supposed to go to church. Today? Yes, me I'm I'm a Sabbath keep. Oh, but for the sake of the youths, okay, have to come. Pray in your heart. Church is in your heart, I believe. Also because of the youths, because yeah. he wants to um, educate us guys, let's appreciate and take this opportunity to understand one or two things Yeah, from this. So, Mabel, so Mabel, what do you think about Youth Day? How best should the youths uh, celebrate Youth Day? We can celebrate Youth Day. Um, mm -hmm. By inviting young people mm -hmm. and motivate them on how they should live their lives. Okay. okay. So yeah, Mabel, because. when you say inviting young people, I um young people and young people, how does that co co connect? Yes, you can invite. All right. Youth. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, what else? What else? What so else? many. So my, I have got so much question. In fact. <laughs> We're not just with Mr. Levy, we're with a cop in Mr. Bali. Oh, oh, we forgot about that guy. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. You're waiting for it. You're just expecting it. Yeah, you're expecting it. Yeah, I was anticipating that this question will come. <laughs> so, you know. Mr. Levy, is that also your greatest achievement? Yes, I would say it is one of the greatest achievements I have had in life. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm the National Theatre Arts Association of Zambia General Secretary. Ooh, ooh. So my interest has always been to ensure that art thrives. Okay. Yeah, so for me, art is at my heart. When I see people progressing, right. that's my fulfillment of my desires. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I've done most of my works administratively, not necessarily being mm -hmm. in front of the camera like it is happening now. Yeah. I'm sure Mr. Innocent know very well where I started from. So I enjoy seeing people excelling mm -hmm. through okay. art. Yeah. And the, 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 the beauty part of it is that as we speak right now, the New Dawn government mm -hmm. has provided us with a, a PS mm -hmm. specifically for art. Okay. That should excite the youths, yeah, should yeah, excite yeah. the artists, because now it means the government is thinking about the artists in Zambia. Yeah, okay. So we were crying. Mm -hmm. you no, know, the government is not looking after us today. They are looking after us. So it's mm -hmm. up to us now as artists to ensure that we stand up to the challenge okay. and show the, uh, the president and the government to say, this is the time we have been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you really an officer? 
question has been like okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I knew that this question will come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has come. <laughs> it has come. Yeah. Um yes, I am a police officer in New Life. Okay. That's I that. knew it. Yeah, I'm a police <laughs> officer in New Life. Uh, mm -hmm. I got employed some years back in 2006. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how do you like manage to uh, work uh, acting? I know acting is also work. Yeah. yeah. So, like, how do you um, manage this too? Like, how do you work? Okay. First of all, I'm I'm, I'm inspired by the Inspector General of Police. Okay. All right. <laughs> because our current Inspector General of Police himself is an artist. Mm -hmm. I belong to a club called Inquasi Theatre Club. Mm -hmm. Okay. This club is. A group of artists mm -hmm. and this uh, and this club was initiated or founded by the current inspector general of police okay. and and the friends so is the is is inspires me so much mm -hmm. so uh, the time for me to go for shoot mm -hmm. is provided oh, wow. we are not denied that opportunity because he is passionate about art okay so shooting is not like every day every day every it's day. not like every day we yeah, shoot. So. yeah. so oh, we are okay. able to divide time well i'm also inspired I'm also inspired. <laughs> I, I, I hope so. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mr. Davy, you said uh, youths should not rather sit on their talents and be, take advantage of that which the president has brought in, as you said, the PS. So there are there are like youths out there who are like, okay, uh, yes, I want I want to sing, I want to be a musician, I want to act, but how do I get that confidence and just go there into the industry? Okay, we. I, I, I loved what Vupe mentioned. Mm -hmm. No, art is a talent at the end of the day. Yeah. It starts when you are still young. Mm -hmm. And it keeps on growing. The only difference we have is opportunities. Others will get yeah. the opportunity earlier, others later. Yeah. But as long as you still persevere, one day or the other, your opportunity will come. Mm -hmm. Like it has come for Vupe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we need to cultivate the talents. So as an association, like I mentioned, we have different theatre clubs dotted around the country. Yeah. So if you want, you, 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 have, uh, art, uh, uh, you, you have some theoret uh, theoretical activities, mm -hmm. you can join any of these clubs. You can come to Nkwazi. We have some civilians there. Mm -hmm. You can go to Green Buffaloes, you can go to Africa Direction, you can go to NAPSA. You can go, there are so many theatre clubs that are dotted around the country where you can join. Okay, so when you say around the country, we're talking of uh, Lusaka province as a, as a province, right? So there's someone out there who's sitting on, on their talent, not because they want to, but they don't know where to find these, mm -hmm. these things. So where, specifically, where can you give the location to someone out there who's watching and wants to, to do okay. the industry? When I say dotted around the country, I mean yeah. the entire country, not to Lusaka province. Only. Yeah, yeah. So in Lusaka, you'll find us at Lusaka Playhouse. Then uh, for Africa Direction, they are found in Mtendere, Mkwazi, they are found at uh, Mbua Stadium, Green Buffalo, they are found at uh, Alakan Barracks, then uh, ZDNS, they are found at uh, Macken, there's uh, ZDNS Macken, mm -hmm. uh, Napsa, you find them at Napsa there. Then for those outside the country, you go to Chingora, you find that Chingora uh, Art Society, there's Kitwe Ritu Theatre, the, in Kitwe, we have uh, different theatre clubs that we can engage. So in case you want to join you are from within Lusaka or outside Lusaka, you can still get in touch with me yeah, and I'll be able to direct you which okay. one is the closest theatre club you can join. Mm -hmm. So like for people to get to you, do you have any social media um, platform. page? Yeah. Do you have a page on any, any social media platform? Yes, I have a page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can just drop your social media It's, it's, it's called Sergeant Ingram Party. Okay. Sergeant, <laughs> then in Goya as in Koi. Mm -hmm. okay. And I have my personal Facebook account. Okay. Facebook account, I mean. Mm -hmm. It's written Matanga Rifumba. Okay. And Instagram, no. TikTok? No. Just Facebook. Facebook for That's now. Yes. Okay, so you can follow him on his page. And yeah, you get to know more about. Um, him, Mr. Dave, not only the officer in Italy. Yeah, he okay, he's our officer. <laughs> we salute you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you do enjoy. Yeah. 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 So, um, Mr. Dave, can you kindly um, give us the last words? What yeah. are your last words? What can you advise the youths out there as we go out and celebrate? 
as we uh, enjoy your young <laughs> Sunday, so how best can we, what are your last words? My last words is that uh, let us celebrate with the responsibly. Responsibly. And uh, we reflect on what we have done and what we need to achieve. Okay. I think those are the ways that I would love to emphasize. We enjoy responsibly, we reflect on our lives, and plan for the future. Yeah. Thank you, Mabel. What are your last words? Um, my message to the youth, sir. Yeah. Um, us as youth, we not only represent the future leaders of our country, yeah. but we also add a great impact to economic development. So as we go out there tomorrow to celebrate the youth, as we celebrate tomorrow, we should also have a um, have a mind to say this is, this is what I'm doing correct for yes. yeah fact, at the end of the I day. wanted to say that uh, the youths are not the future leaders they are the leaders because we never reach at the future mm -hmm. it's okay, okay. <laughs> That's so, so when tomorrow comes you say future future future, future. you are the leaders are the of today, today. Yeah, we yeah. Are the leaders. so we need to be responsible today to ensure that our children and our young brothers and sisters should find a conducive yeah. environment yeah. So we are the readers of today. Right. We, can, we can't continue to be image. Achan. Yeah. Okay, so over to you, Nengaji. Okay, as, as youths, as we are celebrating your day. Yeah, I think so much has been said already. Be responsible. Know what you're doing, as Mabel said. Know that this is what I'm doing. Is it right or wrong? How, how is it going to benefit me as me as a youth? Yeah, Fernando. Okay, so they've said it all. We are the leaders of today, not the future leaders. Yeah. So it's been your girl Tulando and my amazing team. Yeah. So shout outs to everybody watching out there. Next time, same place, same time, same day, same station. From us, it's our bye bye.